practical three perform testing of hypothesis using one sample t test so let's see how to perform this we will first require a data set and we will use uh, run in google collab so let's go to google collab what you have to do is you have to open browser and you have to type google on that you have to type type google collab so the first link is the google collab link there you can click on any file which you are using earlier so i am using this untitled five if there is no code coding i'll use it otherwise i can create a new file you can click on a new notebook so uh, otherwise what i'll do i will click on file new notebook existing notebook or you can use a new notebook so see this new notebook is getting loaded over here now i'll show you what to write in the code so basically you have to write this code that from uh, spicy starts import t test underscore one sample so this is basically a function for one sample t test then you have to import numpy then ages dot csv file we have to upload and then print it and then we have to find out the mean and print the mean then we have to create a test so for that we have to calculate the p val so we have to apply one sample t test on ages data and with the value 30 so if we will print this p value and then we will write a statement that if p value is less than 0 0.5 0.05 then we are going to reject null hypothesis else we are accepting the null hypothesis so for this you have to upload the ages dot csv so you have to click over here and you have to upload the file so when i click see you will see a file symbol over here upload file so i'll click here and i will upload it from the data set the data set is given in the description first download it and then upload it from downloads so here this ages.csv file is there. Now the path is content uh, under uh, slash ages.csv. Now I will run this file. And I will show you the output. See the ages file is first displayed. Then the mean is displayed as 39. The p value is displayed as 5.36. E raised to the power of minus 14 so it's a very small value and it is less than 0 0.05 so we are rejecting the null hypothesis so with this this practical is completed thank you